Hi, Tori. Thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, let's let's start with the reason why we're chatting today. You know, Sage Spot closed a three million dollar seed round, which includes you know additional investment from Tom Brady, Rory McIlroy, Larry Fitzgerald, and yourself. Uh, <laughs> so, just talk about you know why why you invested in this platform. Well, I first of all, I just like to say what a lineup that I get to be part of. <laughs> Um, you know, it's interesting. My, I feel like everything happens for a reason. My husband was up in New York City um, at a business dinner and someone was telling him about Sage Spot and my husband, knowing how frustrated I have been recently with just social media in general, um, was super excited to tell me about it. And we, you know, connected with CJ and uh, the rest is history. I'm super excited about this. Uh, for many reasons, but you know, for myself, I uh, I love connecting with people on social media. I think it's just a great thing, and it's really been fun to be able to build a platform. And it's a great way for me to share my fitness tips and you know life lessons that I've learned. But you know, as we all know, there are definitely holes, and um, you know, I'm super. Uh, I, I've recently just been kind of frustrated with the fact that when you spend a lot of time creating content. Uh, it doesn't always get seen. And um, I know this is a frustration that a lot of content creators also experience. And it's just kind of left me lingering more and more from posting. I'm not posting as much. And I'm just really excited to be a part of something that, you know, will bring people together that want a deeper conversation, a more authentic conversation. Yeah, I was going to say, how does a platform like SageBot help you and other content creators and, and just people who love social media really, really do that? You know, does the, you know, how much does the su subscriber base, you know, uh, you know, backing really help with that? Well, I think it's going to be a great way to kind of filter out the people that just like to pop by and spew, uh, you know, negativity or, you know, not really add, add to the conversation. It's a great way to share things that really matter to you and feel like it's being seen, A, and it's being appreciated. And, you know, the issue that I've had with some of the other platforms is that you spend all this time creating content and if it doesn't fit what, you know, Instagram or Facebook thinks your viewers should see, it doesn't really get seen and it can be very frustrating. So I know for myself and a lot of other, especially fitness professionals that have a lot of information to share, uh, it's invigorating to be able to know that we can start creating content that's going to actually be seen and having those conversations that uh, a little, are a little deeper and more authentic with the people that jump on board. Yeah, and you, and you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, and I wanted to ask you, you have over a million followers on Instagram. I'm, I'm envious of that. I think I have a thousand. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing any fitness videos or anything, any tips as you can tell. Um, but but how important is that for you? Like you said, it is the authentic conversations. It's connecting to the fans, and, and especially knowing that as we're kind of slowly crawling out of the pandemic, how 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 much did you leverage, you know, social media during the past year or so, just knowing that everybody is kind of stuck at home and looking for that connection? Yeah, you know, I wish I could say I leveraged uh, social media great over the past year, but uh, it, over the past year is kind of when my desire to be on it actually waned a little bit. Um, I think just also the polarizing aspect of it, it can be very draining. Um, so, I don't know that I really gained much from it, but I do, I do still love to go on there and connect. And I know that even when I, you know, a lot of my posts are from the heart and I'm, you know, talking about something that I, even if it's only a handful that do appreciate that authenticity and me sharing that with them. And this kind of is like a, me reaching out to those people. Um, I think just just ha cutting that layer out uh, is going to help a lot of creators on uh, Sage Spot just be a little more authentic without having to worry about um, you know the negativity or the people flying by to tell you you suck and you got it all wrong or in my case you know I I come from this crazy fun background of WWE and have a lot of awesome fans but sometimes I share content that doesn't necessarily click with them. And so this is a place for me to say, okay, 
this is where I get to create content that I really like. And I'm, you know, maybe you're not going to get that bikini shot, but you're going to get a lot of other fun content. <laughs> But, but, but that's the thing, like to me, it's it's your social media platform, right? And it's how you use it and whatever you put on there, whether if the fan is looking for a certain thing or, you know, how come you're not posting any throwback pics or whatever like that? Like it's it's your platform. So how you use it is up to you. Um, you know, I've, I've always found that very funny. Um, you, you mentioned WWE. And if you don't mind me asking, I'd, I'd love to talk about that for a little bit. Uh, you know, if I'm not mistaken, you, you came back into the ring for the 2021 Royal Rumble. Uh, you know, what, what was that experience like for you? Because I know it had been a couple years, uh, you know, in between appearances. And, um, you know, I got to ask, are you planning to come back anytime soon? <laughs> no, um, it's funny. Every time I go back there, no matter how long it's been, I feel like it was just yesterday. It just feels like you were just there. And you see a lot of the same faces working backstage, um, you know, getting a little older, those hits, you know, you could feel them a little bit more. As much as people want to say wrestling is staged, it is very, very athletic. And, uh, you know, there's a girl that works there that was an ex uh, MMA fighter. And before we went out there, I told her to just lay it in. And um, I didn't really think about the fact that she was an ex MMA fighter or that she really would lay it in like that. And uh, I felt that for about a week afterwards. And um, it was a big wake up call that, you know, uh, that side gig can be very tiny. <laughs> So no, no farewell match, return, big return, anything like that? No, you know, I, every time I go there, I say, okay, I think I'm good for a while, you know, and then lo and behold, they call you up and you're like, okay, this sounds exciting. It's like a family reunion. And I think I, I probably speak for a lot of retired wrestlers. They can go through the same thing. So I think I'm good for now, but you know, when Vince calls, you never know. <laughs> yeah, you can't not, you know, you can't ignore that. Okay, right. so hy hypothetically speaking, we're going to we're gonna keep this ball rolling, you know, maybe Vince will watch this and give him some ideas. If there was a superstar, current, former, that you could have one last match with, who would it be? Ooh, Charlotte right? Flair. Yeah, why? I just, well, I just adore her on the side. But she's just, she's just, she's the queen. She's very athletic. She's very good in the ring. And you know, you're really only as good as your partner. So I know she'd make me look good. I love it. I love it. Let's get it booked. I'll reach out to my people. You reach out to your people. We're <laughs> going to get this book. WrestleMania, something like that. I know Survivor Perfect. Series. Thanks. Survivor Series is coming up this weekend. Probably a little too soon for that. Um, <laughs> and before <laughs> I let you go, just, just looking overall at the wrestling landscape and the women's revolution and just you know, how women have really changed the game here in the last couple of years. And, and you, you were part of it, the women before you, and then you mentioned Charlotte, there's, you know, Becky Lynch and so many others, Sasha Banks, so many others who are doing it now. Just what does that mean for you to see this evolution and revolution, you know, for women's uh, wrestlers and superstars? Oh, it's just, it really has been incredible to see how far they've come. You know, it was not that long ago. I mean, it seems like time flies, but you know, we were out there in bikinis and trying to look athletic, but also trying to fit some, you know, sexuality in there. And now to see these athletes go out there and perform and just crush it, it's just, it makes me so proud. Um, personally, when I've gone back there, I, even though I know my place in history and, and how I did help pave the way, it's hard not to be in that locker room or in that ring with all those women and feel like, whoa, like, how do I fit in here? Um, but it's also an honor. So it's really been cool. I love it. I love it. I know as a wrestling fan myself, I've, I've really appreciated seeing that growth and just, you know, leveling the playing field that WWE has really done with both the men and, and women superstars. So that's great. Awesome. That, that, that's, that's all I had in terms of questions. Anything else, you know, on, on Safe Spot, on, on social media, content development, anything like that, or WWE, maybe that we haven't, uh, you know, talked about that you want to mention? Well, I just, I would like to say that I'm super excited to bring a Sage Spot to a lot of my friends that I know are creators or in the WWE that really do um, 
some of them might struggle with social media and the negativity. You know, it's sometimes it takes a special human to be able to block all that out. And I'm really excited to be able to bring something to people that are affected by that negativity and create a safe space to, you know, be themselves. Perfect. I love it. Should be called safe spots at a safe spot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> safe spot up. is a safe spot. <laughs> right. Exactly. There you go. Bring that up at the next meeting with Tom and Corey and all those guys. So. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. You know, and, uh, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see you in the ring. Maybe not this, you know, super, super soon, but, you know, hopefully down the line, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little peace sign. <laughs> <laughs>